as you're welcome to my channel all right so in this particular tutorial i'll be going through a simple social media design so without any further ado let's just go straight so i'll just come i come to my this place which happens to be for my background click on color for my color gradient let's just see this is it so i'll click on this part this portion which happens to be the white part click on this pencil mark then i'll just click come here click on this then i think i have the color code copied on my clipboard so i will just then i'll come to this one then i'll just come here and just put it there all right so this is what we have so this is our background for this design so the next thing i'll just be making my this thing, my element visible i already have them here so all you just have to do just to okay let's put on our grid make it visible let's just by default make it just draw it to this end here so i just come here and lock it so i will make this one visible also ah, we um so all right so this is what i'm going to do i'm just going to draw it to this particular length and make it cover this side okay so now that that's actually cut i'll just lock it so and the next thing i'll be doing is i'll bring this element this particular image which happens to be for the house the building then i'll send it behind this one here it's nice okay so this done then i'll bring in this one this particular element now just make it this visible all right so now we've got in here you can see the background actually make that thing looks like as if it was water so this particular element this one i'll come to this image icon for image i'll come to color filter and i'll adjust it this it to minus 40. all right now that i've actually gotten this then i'll bring in my plane oh i haven't uploaded the plane yet so let me just quickly get so i've brought in my plane now every element you'll be making use for this design is in the description of this video all right so i'll just put in my plane here all right now that we have this here so you can see we're actually done with the layout the of this design so the next thing i'll be doing is i'll just come here and i'll create a shape then i'll reduce the opacity of the shape then i'll probably increase the stroke to four so i'll just draw it here so i'll just make it about this height about this height now that i've gotten this one we turn it color to white then i'll just come to my relative position and make sure it's at the center then i'll come now and just lock it i'll lock every of my elements that i've brought in for this design so i don't want them to be moving so we're done with this one so the next thing i'll create a circle so now i've gotten this one so i'll just put it here okay so i'll make sure it's at the center so i think i should i bring it down a bit okay so the next thing this logo for this design i'm using for this particular real estate fit logo so we bring in putting it to this particular place i will just use the size I actually don't want to edit this video so I actually give this the application i'm using to edit this video the vi my videos are just giving me a headache lot of time to process all right so we've gotten this so the next thing is i'll be using now i've gotten this i will come here and lock it i've, I've locked so i'll just bring in a text 
So I'll change the color to one of my default red color. So I think so, all right, so this is what I used here. This default red color in Pixel Lab. So I'll just come here to font. I'll use let's see. Let's see. Let's just use let me just use Monterrat. Monterrat, let me use extra bold. Oh, I can make use of bold, semi bold. All right, so let me just. That's the reason I actually made click on that thing there, on those fonts because I want them to all appear here. So I'll just click on extra bold. So I'll double click on this. So then the next thing is Zazis. All right, so. Now I've actually gotten this. I just adjust the size evenly. Then make sure it's at the center relative position. Then I'll just move it to the top. I can now still come here. The size about 23. Okay. Let's just stick with 23. Okay, we've gotten this. Let's see for this particular element if I have to just move it to the top. All right, so we've gotten this one. All right, so I can just come here and lock it because I don't want it to be moving. So the next thing I'll just copy the text and come to the the, the particular my typeface setting. Then just change it to bold. So I'll double click on it. That's the graphic dot. C O N W W W dot. So just change everything to small. Then I'll just come here, change it the color to white. So I'll just come and add shadow to it. Shadow, add shadow. Then reduce my shadow to about forty. Then I just adjusted it. So I'll just come to my relatives, the size 40. All right, so we've gotten this one 13. Okay, now I've gotten this. Now the shadow actually made it very, very much visible. That's why I made use of the shadow effect. So I'll just copy it, the same text. But by default, our shadow is black. So I'll just come here and just get rid of the shadow effect. So the next thing I'll be bringing in a particular shape, which I will make in the radius to about. Let's see about. Okay, let's just use this. Then I'll be using this color. So it's naturally one of my default colors. So I'll show you the color code. So you just come here, come to the color, click on the plus icon. So this is the color code 00144D. Now you know the way we change that, you come here, click on this pencil icon. Then you input it. After you put it, there will be a check mark. The same way we did for the background. Only that this one is just one element. Just one image um, um, element. So, so I'll come here, I'll come to my crop. So that's actually how I got that particular shape for my design. So I will now make sure it's at this side. So then I'll just have to come here and um, zoom into my design. Zoom in to see everything. And I will just come here and adjust it. So I will just like I spent a lot of time trying to achieve this in Canva. Okay, I've gotten this this height now. I'll just come and lock it. I don't want them to be moving. So the next thing is this. I think this text I actually copied. So I'll be putting my 
the phone number there which is okay i'll use n because i will be using this plus two three four eight one zero six one nine that's six three eight two let's see we've spent about 10 minutes so actually done with this design so the next thing is so i actually want this thing to be equal activate my my ruler so it's on zoom my grid sorry i don't know i actually like calling this grid ruler okay so this is Now I've gotten this, so I'll just come here. Don't worry. I'll just come here and I light just this particular end part. Then use my social media phone. So social um icon. So this is particular one. So you change the WhatsApp number. Alright, so we've gotten now I've gotten this one. So I'll just come here and um this particular one we used for the shadow is I think is what I'm going to use just I'm going to copy it increase the size a bit now the shadow I'm going to change the color to this blue then I will reduce it to about 30 and now I've attained this so I'll just come to font come to recent then i'll be using bebas new bebas bebas new bold so for this design so the next thing i'll change the color to this particular blue so i think i'll still have to come here and reduce that shadow to 20. all right so we've gotten this now i activate my grid then I'll just edit this. Luxury. And I'll just increase the size. I will. I will. So about. I think I'm satisfied with. I think that shadow is coming out making it too obvious okay let's just come here and um the shadow let me see let me just okay i'll just stick with this luxury all right so i'll copy this i'll position this here all right so i will come here edit this in so greenery All right, so now that we've got in, so I'll just send it to this one to the back of this particular element. All right, so I will move it to the front. So I just wanted to cover this element now. So this luxury, I think I'm my okay with that. Let me just move it to the top beats. So I will now copy this. Position it there. Wow, that's a mistake. Actually, so within. make it all caps then i will just reduce the size to about 70. now now we've gotten this so you can see we're done with this design luxury within greening so let's just get rid of this so we've gotten this design let's see so i can just come here to adjust my plane
all right so we've gotten this so this is everything for this tutorial so just come here and click on save ultra then save let's just see 15 minutes so when it's saved so i'll just come to snapseed <sighs> click on this plus icon my recent which is this so you can still do this for the pixel lab hdr script so nature i mm, think i'm not liking this decide to try it so i'll just come to detail increase the structure Oh, sharpen it a bit. Let's see if I come to this vignette. Let's see if the or the outer shadow is going to give me. So this is me just trying something out. All right, so my I guess maybe I'll go with this. So, all right, so this is what we're now having for our design. So I can just come here, export, save. So we're done with this tutorial. So you can save your design. You can now upload it, whatever you want. So that's everything I'll be showing for this video. So we we'll see in the next tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It will really, really help me a lot. I think I'm seeing like there's a space. This space is not even. So I just have to come here, come to my reading. And I'll just... Let's now see it. Okay, so we can just come here, still re-edit it and just save it now. Alright, so that's all for this video. We'll see you in the next one.